if you're a momentum trader and you make your money on these momentum breakdown trades or momentum breakout trades or um, momentum scalps or however you want to treat it, um, if that's where your edge is in the market, what you need to be doing is finding more of those opportunities. You, so you need to be doing all the prep work to come up with a really good list of stocks each day, the stocks that you believe will offer those momentum trading opportunities. But then you need to be setting a ton of price alerts at a bare minimum for important levels. If you have an R, R1, R2, R3, S1, S2, S3, you should have price alerts at every single one of those levels that ping a different color on your box. And I'm guessing you could do that on IB. I know you can do that at Thinkorswim. Um, you can have different sounds that come up for each of those price levels. But what you've done, you've set the stage for, these are important levels that I think could provide some inflection points. Well, if you're only having to set those on three or four stocks a day, if say you get a ping at, at, on, on, on this stock at an important level, well, you don't even need to be watching it, but you've already done the work to know, okay, this level might be an important level for a momentum trade. Then you can pull it up, you can recognize the price action pattern, Say, you know, you can pay attention to the tape for a minute or two, try and recognize, is this offering me a momentum opportunity? Um, and if it is, then you can take advantage of it. You're actually, by doing this, allowing yourself to just be more responsive than having to be predictive. And that's something that, that is really tough. You know, that first trade you made was just a responsive trade. You saw the setup, you saw the consolidation, you saw the breakdown, you saw the pressure on the tape. That's really good. The next ones are responsive trades, or pre I'm sorry, predictive trades. They're like, it's coming up into a level, I'm predicting that it's going to roll back over. Okay, it didn't really roll back over, I'm predicting that this next spike up is going to roll back over. Those are very, very different trades. Um, but imagine you take that momentum trade, and then you just sit back and say, okay, let's see what else pops up through the day. And you're cycling through your two or three stocks, and you're paying attention to when they come into important levels. You could even build a simple filter for those stocks and only run it on those stocks every day of, you know, if I get a 10 minute consolidation, that is one quarter of the range of the bar from 15 minutes ago or 10 minutes ago or whatever. This is a one minute chart. So say, look at the down move. It was, you know, let's hypothesize that this is a five minute chart, right? So if we go to, if we look at a five minute chart, basically you had a big down move over a five minute period and then a five minute consolidation and the momentum trade you're taking is the breakdown from that five minute range. So what if you said, I want an alert on any of these stocks that I have, and I'm guessing you can do it on interactive brokers. I know you can do it on thinkorswim of just, you know, when one five minute bar is one quarter of the size of the prior five minute bar. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they are producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.